Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Apache 2, PHP and MongoDB just in a single script uh, Okay, let's start First of all, I, have, or I already have the file for setting it up Let's show what I have in there This is the script we are going to use in order to start all that service and feed it together Okay, let's show the line numbers as we can see, first line and second line, we are just uh, doing an echo just for logging what we are doing in here. After that, line three and four, we are just getting updates and removing any uh, unused file we have in the system. After that, uh, in line six, as you can see, uh, we are installing Apache 2. It, uh, we will just have to press uh, yes in all the times for installing Apache 2. And that's all. After that, uh, we need to install some dependencies in order for MongoDB to work and also to uh, fit together uh, Apache 2 and PHP because we are doing a single installation. Uh, first, we need a Python software properties. After that, we installed. We need to add this repository if we are using Ubuntu 16. I think I'm not really sure, but I think if you are using uh, Ubuntu the latest edition, I think it is 18. Uh, maybe you don't need this line. Uh, also, after that, we get uh, updates for the system in order to to build the index and get uh, any update. For example, this repository. After that, as we can see in light 11, we are installing. Uh, this uh, lib library and it is also modeled and it is used in order to uh, to join the Apache 2 and the PHP we are going to install PHP 7.2 and uh, also um, sometimes these two dependencies are not required because are like exclusive all of them you can just install the first one uh, the lib Apache 2 mod PHP 7.2 but if you want, you can install this one. After that, uh, well, we can install PHP. In this case, as uh, we already said, we are installing PHP 7.2 and we need to use the same version in here than in here. The same venture in the lib Apache 2 uh, library than in the PHP version we are going to install. Uh, if you use a different one, uh, installation will fail for you. After that, we are uh, done. We can start install. We can start installing MongoDB, and this is the command we are going to run. The line 15. After that, uh, for MongoDB to work, and we we need to install also the driver for MongoDB to work. Uh, we are going to use PCL, and for this, we first need to run apt and install PHP pure. After that, we are going to install PHP dev. And finally, we installed using PCL. We are going. We installed MongoDB driver. <clears throat> finally, uh, when we are when we installed MongoDB uh, using Apache 2 and PHP as the backend server, and we need to add one line to the PHP ini file. Uh, most of the times, PHP ini file is located in here. ETC PHP 7.2 Apache 2 and PHP.ini. Uh, I said PHP 7.2 in here because it's the version we are installing. And what we are doing in this line is we are counting the lines where MongoDB is there because the line we are going to insert is this one extension equal MongoDB.so. For that reason, we are searching into this file just for checking if line is already there because if we already install this dependency uh, this line will be there and we want to write many times the same line for that reason we use this command it is for looking this pattern into the file and this flag means that count the amount of lines returned by the command after that, what we need to do is, what happened if is Mongo equals zero? It means that we need to add the line to that file. 
uh, in that case we add we echo extension equal mongodb dot so and we could add for this file to this file sorry etc php 7.2 apache 2 php dot any be sure that you are using these symbols and not just this one because if you use this one you will overwrite all the content of this file and anything will work for you finally we are uh, we are done with all, all the installation we need uh, finally we can stop uh, Apache 2 or MongoDB because we are not sure if it is already started in the previous steps and finally we start both of them okay after that we can check it if it works uh, in this case I'm using shell script uh, in a Ubuntu machine it is a Ubuntu server machine version 16 and let me check I'm using BI for doing these editions finally save and keep it and we are done just for checking first of all uh, as you can see server is not uh, working I'm using an EC2 machine just for testing this uh, if you are using an EC2 machine remember that you need to open some ports and for example in this case I, I you need to open port 80 and port maybe you will need also to open port uh, for 143 uh, also let's check that we don't have Mongo installed in, in this in this machine also we can check we don't have Apache installed in this machine let's check uh, with PS we are looking for process running in this machine let me check and we are going to check if there is something with the name Apache 2 for example we will get just one line and that's okay also let's check if PHP any file is in there because I, I installed this before but there is kind of waste files it is etc as we already say php it is 7.2 apache 2 and finally php.ini okay let me check okay as you can see file is in here going in, we can go to the bottom of this file using the dot and the percentage symbol and we are at the end as you can see here is the extension let's remove this just to make sure oh it is read only file let's get it and open as sudo okay let's go to the bottom of the file remove the line you can remove the line using dd bottom keyword and save the file we are done let's run the script okay when we create the script we were not using a uh, sudo for that reason we can run the script uh, with sudo for all the file to be uh, in this case uh, with all the per required permissions also remember that maybe you need to add some permission to the file I call the file setup Apache Mongo and PHP. I will uh, write the this, I will write uh, the GitHub uh, repository in the one I stored this. Uh, I will leave this in the comments in in the description. Sorry. And we are done. We can run this. Let's start with sudo and the file name, and it will start. Let's check. We tell me to write yes in here. It's in failures because we are running this from a file. Enter. Yes. There are some dependencies that are kind of heavy. It is kind of 250 
50 uh, megabytes and it will take some time it depends on the bandwidth you have for example this one is 190 but you think it is this this space we are almost done yes yes oh we are done perfect let's check first of all we can check if we already have mongo running perfect it is mongo also let's run the same command that we already run yes and Apache 2 Oh, great. Finally, let's check PHP in file. Great, there is the extension. You can do it manually, but it's better when we do it by a shell script because we have this like a simpleton just runs once. And finally, uh, let me check, uh, let me open a uh, really simple file I did just for checking that the Mongo driver is installed. I create this file, it is bar www and html. Let me check if I already have the file. Yes, this is the file. As you can see, I'm just printing out the PHP info. In there we can check if MongoDB driver is installed. Let's go to the browser. And here we are. It is working. And as you can see we have MongoDB installed in here. This is what we need to look into this uh, into this website, into this PHP info that we are printing, printing out, and here we have the extension. It is working. And after that, you just need uh, the 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 driver that you will use in order for code. But that's all. When you are in here, uh, you are almost done. You can start coding. And I think we are done. It worked perfect. Also, uh, let me share with you this file. I will leave this in the description in GitHub, in my GitHub. It is for a moment all the installation. Also, you will need this. As you can see, first we stop the services. After that, we remove Apache 2, we remove these libraries, uh, we remove PHP, we remove Mongo, and uh, these dependencies that we install at the, at, the, at the end of the setup. And we are done. Uh, thanks for watching and see you later.